Hey guys, it's Kimberly. Welcome back to my channel. So today I am doing a tutorial review type of thing. So I'm reviewing the Nikki Tutorials and Too Faced Power of Makeup collection. Yeah, it's awesome. I was so excited when, you know, it was announced and then I waited forever and finally it was done. And then it was just so beautiful and I just loved it. And I was online as soon as it came out. So I made sure to snag myself a set. Um, I wanted to snag an extra set for my giveaway that I'll be doing soon. But I just couldn't, at the time, I couldn't afford it. And now they're sold out online. I'm hoping that when they're released in stores, I can get another one for you guys. But I don't know if I will or not. So I don't want to make promises. Um... But yeah, this is the look I created. I loved it. Yeah. Okay, guys, so let's go ahead and get started. As you can see, I do already have my foundation and brows done. And I did some contouring and my baking and everything already. But we're going to go in to the palette now. I am so excited for this. So... I swatched some of this the other day, and oh my goodness, all these colors are beautiful. So, I need bronzer first, so we're going to go in, and it's got the chocolate soleil down here. I know a lot of people like this bronzer, but I think it might be a little light for me. Or, I don't know, it looks a lot darker on camera. I just have to say that right now my face is looking flawless. I wish my eyebrows didn't do that look. Whatever. So now I'm going to go into... What kind of blush do we want to use for this look? I think I'm going to use I Will Always Love You. It's like more of a peachy brown. But I think that's the color I'm going to use today. Let's see. I don't actually have any that are this kind of peach colored. So let's see what it looks like. I've never tried this color before. Again, I feel like the color is kind of light for me and it's barely showing up. Like, yeah, you can barely tell even on camera. I know Nikki Tutorials is very pale, and so this probably looks amazing on her. Now, there we go. I just had to put a little bit more than I would normally use. Yeah, I still think it looks a little weird on camera. Oh well. I feel like this isn't working very well. I feel like it's getting a little too low down here. This is just a clean powder brush that I'm just blending with. I think I'm going to add just a little bit of the Justify My Love, which is the pink. Just a little bit to the tops of my cheeks. Just to bring a little bit of rosiness to my face. There we go. I like that. And then we're going to do our eyes. I don't know what I'm going to do. I didn't plan. But we will use 
the Too Faced Shadow Insurance, which does come with the collection. Okay, so I'm going to set my primer in with Ivy, which is the white here. Let me zoom you in so you can see what I'm doing. Oh. I feel like my eyebrows look horrible when they're that up close. Like, I know I'm not the best at eyebrows. But still. Okay, there we go. Everything is set. Now we're going to go in with a blendy brush. And we're going to go into Painkiller. I'm going to take it into the crease. So this is painkiller right here. I think that's a good transition color. I'm just going to do the same thing on the other eye. Okay, so now that I have my transition color put well into place, I'm going to go in with Makeup and Chill, which is this darker brown here. That looks kind of maroon on camera. It definitely is a warmer brown. I'm going to bring that into my crease, but I'm not going to take it as high as I did painkiller. And I'm going to put it on my outer V as well. Okay, so now I'm going to go in with Wanted, which is this, is it full black? Yep, it's a full matte black. Right here. I'm going to take just a little bit of it and just focus it on the outer corners. So I just kind of place the color and I'm actually using my Sephora color switch thing, which I love. It will be in the August favorites. Let me clean up any fallout I have. I don't know what I want to do. There's so many pretty colors, guys. With as dark as I went, I feel like I should go for a lighter color. I think I'm going to put, I'm going to go back into Ivy, so that white. And put this on my lid. Okay, so I'm going to take some of my Maybelline concealer on a basic eyeshadow brush. I'm just going to use this to clean this up. Okay. So I just kind of cleaned up so it'll be a little sharper and the color will actually show up, which is basically the same color, it's just the white. So I'm just going in with Ivy on top of that concealer. And then taking my blendy brush, I'm going to make sure to blend the white into the outer V. Now that I've kind of got it the way I want it, I'm going to take the NYX Glitter Primer and just place this all over my lid. And I'm just placing very little of that. And then I'm going to take the Glamour Dust in Glitterly from the collection. It's just like a white glitter with like silver reflect in it. I'm just using my eyeshadow brush on there, in there, to place this all over my lid. I'm just taking my blending brush to dust over that and make sure that any glue that's not, any glitter that's not glued down is brushed away using just a basic powder brush to blush. Ugh, I'm saying brush too many times. I'm just dusting off all the glitter fallout. So now taking an eyeshadow brush, I'm going to go in to Makeup and Chill, which was that darker brown we worked with, and also into Wanted, and just kind of mix the two on my brush. 
and bring that into my lower lash line on the outer half. Now I'm going to go into Ivy, the white one again, on the outer or the inner half of my lash line. And I'm also going to use Ivy on my corner to like highlight a little bit. Now I'll make sure the two colors are blended in the middle. So I'm going to take a Q-tip and clean up this corner that just started drooping with the eyeshadow. I'm going to take some painkiller, the lighter, the lighter brown that we used. I'm going to put that on the inner half. Okay, now I'm going to take the Too Faced Sketch Marker Yourself Too Faced Black Liquid Art Eyeliner. That came with the collection, of course. So I've created an inner point, and as you can see, I've brought it partway onto my waterline. What is this called when you put the point in the middle? Like making it a cat eye or whatever? I think of it as putting a wing on the inside. Okay, so now that I've got my inner wing and I've got my base eyeliner down, I've got to add a real wing. Now, I don't really like using the felt liner eyeliners in my waterline. Uh, I don't think a lot of people do, but I know some do. So I'm going to go in with my Marc Jacobs Retractable Gel Liner. I'm going to put this in my tight line and in my waterline. So there is eyeliner. There's still glitter all over me. Okay, so now I'm going to take my lash curlers and curl my lashes. Okay, so I'm going to go in with some lashes. These will be good. These are the Love and Beauty by Forever 21 lashes. Honestly, they're one of my favorites. Like at first I wasn't sure if I would like them because of the way like they're they feel and stuff. But I'm gonna let the glue set and while it sets, red lipstick. Okay, so I'm gonna go in with the Too Faced Melted Matte in Lady Balls. Oh my goodness, y'all haven't even been able to see any of this. Okay, so now that the glue is set, I'm going to place them on my eyes. I don't know why I'm having so many issues with my lashes today. So I'm going to take my Too Faced Better Than Sex mascara. This is the black one, not the purple one that comes in the kit. And I know there's still glue there. That's because the corner kept popping up. But the rest of it is glued down. So. Just stay in place. Then I'm going to take the purple Too Faced Better Than Sex mascara. This is the one that comes with the collection. And it is a beautiful purple. Look at that. I'm going to try this on my bottom lashes and see if it'll show up. I'm going to curl these lashes again. I'm having problems with these. Like they're poking out below. Because I didn't curl them enough and my lashes are so straight. It ain't even funny. My lashes keep popping up. I do not understand why I'm having so many problems with it. I swear I never have this many problems with lashes. And today, because I decided to do a video and put on lashes for the camera. And now they just keep popping up. 
they won't stay in place. You can't really see the purple unless you get up close. Um, I think it's because my I went so dark with the eyeliner and everything. If I was like going on a nude liner, I think the purple would pop a lot more. But this is what we got for today, so I'm gonna go ahead and I think this champagne truffle is supposed to be a highlighter. I'm gonna try it anyway. So I'm gonna try to use this as a highlighter. So now, of course, I'm going to finish off with some setting spray, and this is the Bodyography Pro. Y'all know this is what I use every time, mainly just because this is the one that I have that's full size. I have the NYX matte one too, but this is just like the one that's easier to grab. And I'll be right back. So this is the look that I created. Honestly, I'm in love with it. Like, I really like this look. I don't know. Like, it's kind of basic, but it's kind of not. I am loving this collection. These are, you know, if you've ever used Too Faced products, you know they're really soft, they smell good, they are just awesome all around. The pigmentation is amazing. Um, so I'm loving the palette. I already knew I would. The colors. I know I didn't use any of the bright colors. Like I didn't use Wham Bam or Mystic Hour or the silver or the gold. You know, I didn't use any of those. I just use the basic colors. But I'm loving it. Um, for the purple mascara, again, I, the color didn't really show up that well on me. I think it's just because my eyeliner was so dark, so I'm sure it would pop up if I was doing maybe a different kind of look. So that's still, I'm still liking it. Uh, I can notice it because I, you know, put it on there and I was up close to the mirror and I really like the shade of purple that it is. For the Too Faced sketch marker, I've actually never used their sketch marker eyeliners before. And I actually really like it. It's like enough liquidy that it just goes on so smooth, but not so much that it's watery. So I'm glad that this was included in the collection. For the shadow insurance, I'm not really sure I can give it a review. It's just a primer. It worked well as a base. Um, that's really all I can say because I had, you know, I just finished my makeup, so I don't know how well it's going to hold eyeshadow on throughout the day and lastly the glitter dust in glitterly absolutely beautiful it's like straight up glitter I mean obviously that's why it's called glitter dust and I did use it on my lid I think it came out very pretty so yeah I'm loving the entire collection if you were not able to get a, a hold of it online then you should definitely be there. Actually, I don't know what I'm posting in this video, so if you couldn't get it online, you should definitely try and get it in stores. But if this video is out after it comes out in stores, then I really hope you had a chance to get it because this is just an awesome, awesome collection. Um, I will do a close-up now of the eyes. Can you see the purple? I don't even think you can. If you are already a subscriber, then thank you for coming back. And if you are new, then hit the subscribe button down below. I would love to have you join this little family group. What are we calling it? Adventurers? The Adventurers? Yeah. We're the Glittering Adventurers. So, join us on this channel and... Join this adventure through makeup with me. Don't forget to give this video a like if you like this look or if you like the collection or if you just want to see more videos like this. 
Let me know in the comments what you think of this look or if you have any other suggestions for looks that I should do or if you want me to use a certain color out of the palette. Let me know. I always take video suggestions in my comments and I do read them all. I do read all of the comments so I will see it if you post it. Don't forget you guys can also follow me on Instagram and Twitter at shewhospeaks underscores instead of spaces. And I'm also on Snapchat at Kimberly.Nicole. That's Nicole with a K, not a C. And I just post little sneak peeks of videos on there. Or I will do, sh like, makeup pictures on there that don't get put on YouTube. So follow me there. Twitter, for sure. If you don't want to follow me on Instagram or Snapchat, that's fine. But on Twitter, uh, I would like to start doing polls and asking y'all what you want to see next. So if you follow me there, I'll be able to do that. And yeah, that's it for this video. I will see you guys in the next one and thank you for watching. Bye.